How do I get that? How do I get that? Folks, we are going to be playing Blazing Chrome, which just came out and it is currently available on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, if you have a PS4 or the Xbox, this game can cost you between $17 to $20, but Xbox Game Pass Ultimate costs you 15 bucks a month. So if you want to try this game out, if you don't know whether this game is for you or not, that is definitely something you should consider. I love the Contra games, but I am really, really bad at them, like just horrible at. So I'm very afraid of my my performance here, but we're just gonna be doing it. We're just gonna be doing it. Gonna use my account, which maybe someday I'll change the name to have it reflect my current channel, but in the menu, we have four options for Blazing Chrome. And I love, wow. When you look at the upper left, even the avatar, which I purposely not changed. I still have my Xbox 360 avatar and I refuse to change it. It makes it look old school. Juan, what are your thoughts on the Switch Lite? As we play Blazing Chrome, I will give you my reactions, my friend, to the Switch Lite. Just let me look at this quickly. Okay, so easy should be the one that I play. The Switch Lite I get why it exists, and there's going to be people that definitely buy it because it is a hundred bucks cheaper. I think that the problem is that many people like myself, like my wife and I want to have two Switches because we both play Switch and we have a large Switch library. So we were hoping that this would be able to substitute or be, be to the side of our other Switch. But because it doesn't have TV out, we use our, T our, our Switch on the television like 90% of the time, except when we're traveling. Okay, so there's a lot of options. So this gives me vibes from both Contra and Metal Slug. I just laugh whenever Nintendo says, hey, this won't replace the 3DS. It's like, guess what? That's exactly what you said from the uh, Game Boy Advance to the DS. And as far as I know, we've yet to get a sequel to the, uh, to the Game Boy Advance family, which I would have no problem doing. Although if they, if they announced a Game Boy Advance like mini or something that technically would be a new one so <laughs> I guess they would be right yeah, right off the bat I really like the controls I like the fact that if the enemy gets close instead of shooting you're actually uh, providing a melee attack you can't crouch I'm assuming this is one hit kill for me so I gotta be very careful yep okay we're already doing good we're already doing beautiful. Like, I'm... Wow. Okay. So, I, I need to focus more. The original Contra was one of one of the first games I played on the NES. Uh, my brother had it. And I could never get really far in it. I've just been horribly bad at these games always. There are other video game genres, that, like beat-em-ups. Like, recently, I've gotten a lot better at playing beat-em-up games. But I feel like nowadays... This is just a genre that I've got to learn to accept that, look, I'm just bad at this. Holy crap, I am bad at this. I'm down to two lives and we literally just began the game. I'm down to one life. Wow. Like the Switch, it's not always our main console like it is lately just because of the games coming out. Like this week we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 coming out, so maybe I'll be doing some kind of stream or video about that. Ooh, I like this. Oh, no! Okay, I'm out of lives. This is my last life. Jeebus. No! No! Okay, at least they actually just take you away. So you have a, a bit of a chance to still make it out alive. Oh, my goodness. This is going to go beautiful, isn't it? This is going to be beautiful. Let me actually switch my camera over here. Just so that way you get to see what is coming up ahead. If I can beat the first stage, just the first stage, I will be... On! Oh, I just want to beat the damn first stage, people. I'm going to ask it for much, am I? You can use the triggers to swap out weapons, so that's good. Okay. This part went by a little bit easier than before. Thing is, I definitely got to make use of the angled aiming. Because if I don't do that, then I'm going to really have trouble. I'm playing Brawlhalla lately, writes Karam, and some other random games. Brawlhalla is nice. Um, thing is, like, the brawler games for me are like, uh, it's that game that I play with friends, but not necessarily by myself. 
This gets to me like the brawler slash fighting genre. It's like a, it's like the bonus thing that I play. It's not something that I purposely seek out to to experience, you know. But Brawl Hall is really good, and it's available on pretty much everything now. So, okay, people, we got we got to another screen. We're already doing way better than before, and hopefully, you guys appreciate the new layout with the circle, with the better camera. Um, I'm really picky about quality with with streams, with videos, with everything. So. Anything that I can do to bump up the quality just a little bit, I definitely, definitely will. I'm just spamming the button, but you can actually hold this and do a much stronger attack, so I'm assuming that's better for uh, vehicles. Ooh, that was close. Oh my god, okay. Gotta be careful there. Yeah, that looks like a stronger one. Not sure what this attack is good for. Maybe some, like, if you have a lot of short-range enemies... One thing I haven't really paid attention to is the music, so I'm actually going to be quiet for a couple seconds just because I died. But in addition, just so you can appreciate that and judge for yourself. How do I get that? How do I get that? We're at a boss. We're at a... Oh! Quite alive. Please tell me there's, there's some kind of like... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, please tell me there's a continue from there. Do I gotta do the stage again? No! Okay, there's a checkpoint, there's a checkpoint. Modern video games, people, I don't care if I, I'm bad at this, okay? I'm openly bad at games, but I love playing them, so... And if there's any other retro-style game that you guys and gals would like me to cover on the channel, definitely let me know. I love to play games like this, especially side-scrolling games, like, that's really become my thing within the past couple of months. Ironically enough, not something I cared about growing up. Ooh, I like this upgrade. Oh, oh! This is like one of the only video game genres that causes me to physically move my body. Because somehow that's supposed to make me feel better. Or make me play better. Oh no, I didn't see that. Okay, he's on fire. People. Wait. Did I just beat a boss? Did I just beat a boss? Oh no, the stage is still going. So that was like the sub boss? Oh come on. Oh, we get to be on a robot now. A robot. Oh, that's actually a nice detail. Look at that. When you get on top of a car, the car actually gets uh, squished up a bit. That's really nice. And once again, as of the recording or streaming of this video, this game is available on Xbox Game Pass. I'm playing the version on console. Can't uh, talk about the PC version yet because I haven't touched it. This is the great, the great thing about Xbox Game Pass right now for me that it just allows me to not only be able to offer you guys and gals uh, a wider variety of content, but me as a gamer, I'm also a little bit more frugal because this game would have been 17 bucks right now. And the fact that I could just play for a little bit, if I'm bad at it and I, I don't want to play it again, I don't have to. I'm not obligated to. And I think that's important. I think that's really important to uh, point out. I love the design of the level. The graphics also remind me a little bit of Mega Man X. I don't know if anybody else gets that similar vibe. And it's got that, that like late 80s, early 90s evil sounding soundtrack. Okay, that's definitely the boss. Oh no! Oof. Oh no, I don't know what's gonna happen here. No! I'm feeling just a little overwhelmed. Like, these games, they just test my patience, and I usually end up doing pretty bad. No! No! I'm doing so bad. People. Give me, give me like a stage complete. Give me, please. No! Come on! Oh, come on! What? 
This is like the third boss on the same stage. Oh no! Ah. On. Going so bad. Yeah, I just realized now that I've been playing without using one specific option, which is pressing the right bumper, which I've pointed out. You can use that to shoot without moving. I hope to be able to use the robot for at least a little while now. Because before I wasn't holding the right bumper. If you get frustrated with the game, always look at the uh, control. See if there's something you're missing. Because that can really make a big change. If you notice there, there's like a, a specific spot that... Oh, damn it. Well, that took long. Okay, that's some good damage, though. Oh! Oh! I did that. I made that happen. I'm proud of myself. Okay. We got this, people. We, we, we got this. We got, we got six lives. We got, we got one more than the default that I start out with. Wait, did I just kill him? Oof. Oh, didn't see that. Okay, so I gotta I gotta shoot the chest. Oh no, he got me. Okay, so that's not that bad. Got him, got him. Oh, you can melee him. Okay. This is pretty good though. This feels pretty solid, the gameplay. I like the music. It feels like a Terminator game. I know it's nothing really like it, but I think you know what I'm talking about. This feels like a game that would have come out around the time that we got the Terminator 2 arcade game, which I was afraid of growing up. I actually like snuck below the arcade machine because I was too afraid to see the uh, opening graphic. Oh, okay, this is... Oh, no. Oh, no, this is definitely getting a little bit more difficult now. Oh, no. Did I get him? Wait, I'm not gonna let go of my controller. Bad things happen. Come on. Come on! Oh! I did it, people! I beat the first stage of Blazing Chrome, and it didn't take me an hour. I may cry. Just based on the uh, first mission, I love the art style, because it is that retro style that that you knew from the super nintendo era of games like the the mid 90s arcade games it, it gives me though those vibes but it definitely has a little bit more with the graphical effects and the amount of detail on screen i love the soundtrack it it definitely reminds me of the older games when i listen to it i'm thinking oh this is like contra this is like another game i do like the fact that it's got a lot of different features like when the enemy is close range then then yeah you have that opportunity to do some melee damage and i appreciate that the fact that the game is trying to figure out within the limited 2d scope right like how many things you can can you do in that game so if you'd like me to cover blazing chrome down the line definitely let me know let me know what you think about this game because i think there's there's a lot more potential for games that are like this more so than metroidvania games i feel like we've got a lot of games in this art style with their metroidvania which isn't really my thing i'm not a big fan of backtracking in uh, video games but if you enjoyed this video do not forget to hit that subscribe button and tap on that notifications bell because this was part of an xbox game pass stream that i did so that way you can be notified of whenever i do other streams or post videos in the future so up until next time thank you for watching and take care